हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द पीडी लाइफ साइंस अकेडमी फॉर द हैप्पी लर्निंग नीट एग्जाम की प्रिपरेशन जे विद्यार्थी करते हैं बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट लर्निंग लिंकिंग ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट जेवड़े गरजे है तेवड़े एन सी आर टी बुकम चैप्टर से कंटेट रीड करने आवश्यक है ये करता फक्त एक रीडिंग करूँ चलना नहीं मल्टीपल टाइम्स रिविजन होने गरजे है यहाँ टाड़ाटा करने चांगले नवे अपन सेट के लिए टार्गेट अचीव करना सा पी डी लाइफ साइन्स अकेडमी ने सर्व स्टूडेंट्स जे नीट एग्जाम से प्रिपरेशन करीत ट्वेंटी वन डे रीडिंग चैलेंज की सुरवत के लिए है रोज एक चैप्टर से रीडिंग आप कम्प्लीट करना आहोत हे चैलेंज ज्यादा विद्यार्थ्या ऐक्सेप्ट के लिए डेली टार डेली टार्गेट अचीव के कॉमेंट करूँ संगाइच है सो लेट्स गेट रेडी फॉर टेकिंग रीडिंग चैलेंज ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट थैंक यू ट्वेंटी वन डे बायोलॉजी रीडिंग चैलेंज डे सेवेन रीडिंग चैलेंज चैप्टर नंबर सेवेन फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी बुक बायोलॉजी टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड चैप्टर नंबर सेवेन स्ट्रक्चरल ऑर्गनाइजेशन in plant in animals in the proceeding chapters you came across the large variety of the organism both in unicellular and the multicellular of animal kingdom in unicellular organism all functions like digestion respiration and the reproduction are performed by the single cell in the complex body of the multicellular animals the same basic function are carried out by the different groups of the cell in the well organized manner The body of the simple organism like the hydra is made up of the different types of cells and the number of cells in each type can be in the thousand. The human body is composed of the billions of cells to perform the various functions. How do these cells in the body work together? In multicellular animals the group of similar cell along with the intracellular substances perform a specific function. Such an such as such an organization is called as a tissue you may be surprised to know that all complex animals consist of only the four basic types of tissues these tissues are organized in the simple proportion of and the pattern of pattern to form the organ like the stomach lungs heart and the kidney when two or the more organ perform a common function by their physical and or the chemical interaction they together form the organ system for example the digestive system respiratory system etc the cell tissue organs and the organ system split up the work in the many that exhibit the division of the labor and contribute to the survival of the body as whole 7.1 the animal tissues the structure of the cell vary according to their functions therefore the tissues are the different and are broadly classified into the four types epithelial connective muscular and the neural tissues now the 7.1.1 is the epithelial tissues we commonly refer to and the epithelial tissue as epithelial that is plurally known as a epithelia these tissues has a free surface which face either the body fluid or to the or the outer environment and thus provides the covering or the lining of the some parts of the body the cells are compactly packed with the little intracellular matrix there are the two types of the epithelial tissues namely the simple epithelium and the compound epithelium simple epithelium is composed of the single layer of the cell and the function as a lining of the body cavity duct and the tubes The compound epithelial tissues consist of the two or the more cell layers and has protective function as it does not as it does in our skin. On the basis of the structural modification of the cell, simple epithelium is a further divided into three types. These are the first is a squamous, second is a cuboidal and third is a columnar. The squamous epithelium is a made up of the single thin layer of the flattened cell with the irregular boundaries they are found in the wall of the blood vessels and the air sac of the lungs and are involved in the functions like the forming a diffusion boundaries 
द क्यूबॉइडल इपिथेलियम इज अ कम्पोज ऑफ द सिंगल लेयर ऑफ द क्यूब लाइक सेल्स दीज आर कॉमनली फाउंड इन द डक ऑफ द ग्लैंड एंड द ट्यूबुलर पार्ट ऑफ द नेफ्रॉन इन द किडनी एंड इट्स अ मेन फंक्शन इज आर द सिक्रेशन एंड द एब्सॉर्शन द इपिथेलियम ऑफ द प्रॉक्सिमल कॉन्विलेटेड ट्यूबुल दैट इज द पी सी टी ऑफ द नेफ्रॉन इन द किडनी हैज अ माइक्रोविलैम द कॉलमनर इपिथेलियम इज अ कम्पोज ऑफ द सिंगल लेयर ऑफ द टॉल एंड द स्लेंडर सेल्स देर न्यूक्लिया आर लोकेटेड एज द बेस एट द बेस फ्री सर्फेस मे हैव द माइक्रोविलाय दे आर फाउंड इन द लाइनिंग ऑफ द स्टमक एंड इंटेस्टाइन एंड हेल्प इन द सेक्शन एंड द एब्सॉर्शन इफ कॉलमनार और क्यूबॉइडल सेल्स बियर ए सेल ऑन देअर फ्री सर्फेस दे आर कॉल एज अ सिलिएटेड इपिथेलियम देअर फंक्शन इज टू मूव पार्टिकल्स और ए म्यूकस इन अ स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन ओवर द इपिथेलियम दे आर मेनली प्रेजेंट इन द इनर सर्फेस ऑफ द हॉलो लाइक द ब्रॉन्कियोल्स एंड द फॉलिपियन ट्यूब्स सम ऑफ द कॉलमनार और द क्यूबॉइडल सेल्स गेट स्पेशलाइज फॉर द सिक्रेशन एंड आर कॉल एज अ ग्लैंडुलर इपिथेलियम दे आर मेनली ऑफ द टू टाइप्स यूनिसेलुलर एंड कंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ द आइसोलेटेड ग्लैंडुलर सेल्स दैट इज द गोबलेट सेल्स ऑफ द एलिमेंट्री कैनर एंड द मल्टी सेल्युलर कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ द क्लस्टर ऑफ द सेल दैट इज द सलाइवरी ग्लैंड्स ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द मोड ऑफ पोरिंग ऑफ देअर सिक्रेशन ग्लैंड्स आर डिवाइडेड इन टू द टू कैटेगरीज नेमली एक्सोक्राइन एंड द एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड्स Exocrine glands are secrete the mucus, saliva, air wax, oil, milk, digestive enzyme and the other cell products. These products are released through the duct or the tubes. In contrast, the endocrine glands do not have the duct. Their products called as a hormones are secreted directly into the fluid bathing the glands. Compound epithelium is made up of the more than the one layer or the multi layers of the cell and thus has a limited role in the secretion and the absorption. Their main function is to provide the protection against the chemical and the mechanical stress. They cover the dry surface of the skin and the moist surface of the buccal cavity. Pharynx, inner lining of the duct and the salivary glands and of the pancreatic ducts. All cell in the epithelium are held together with a little intracellular material in nearly all animal tissues specialized junctions provides the both structural and the functional links between its individual cell three types of the cell junctions and found in the epithelium and the other tissues these are called as a tight adhering and the gap junctions tight junction helps to stop the substances from the leaking across the tissues adhering junction perform the cementing to keep the neighboring cells together gap junction facilitate the cells to communicate with each other by connecting the cytoplasm of the adjoining cells for the rapid transfer of the ions small molecules and the something big molecules now the 7.1.2 the connective tissues connective tissues are the most abundant and the widely distributed in the body of the complex animal they are named connective tissues because of they are the special function of the linking and the supporting other tissues or the organs of the body they range from the soft connective tissue to the specialized type which include the cartilage bone adipose and the bloods in all connective tissue except the blood the cell secrete the fibers of the structural proteins called as a collagen and elastin the fibers provide the strength elasticity and the flexibility to the tissues these cell also secrete the modified polysaccharide which accumulate between the cell and the fibers act as a matrix or the ground substances connective tissues are classified into the three types first is a loose connective tissue second is a dense connective tissue and third is a specialized connective tissue Now first is a loose connective tissues has a cell and the fibers loosely arranged in the semi fluid ground substances for example alveolar cell alveolar tissues present beneath the skin often it serve as a support framework for the epithelium it contains the fibroblast that is the cell that produce the produce and the secrete the fibers macrophages and the mast cells Adipose tissues is the another type of the loose connective tissue located mainly beneath the skin. 
The cell of these tissues are specialized to store the fats. The excess of the nutrients which are not used immediately are the converted into the fats and they are the stored in these tissues. The fibers and the fibroblasts are compactly packed in the dense connective tissue. Orientation of the fiber shows the regular and the irregular pattern and are called as the dense regular and the dense irregular tissues. In the dense regular connective tissues, the collagen fibers are present in a row between the many parallel bundles of the fibers. Tendons, which attach the skeletal skeletal muscles to the bones and the ligaments, which attach to the bone to the another, are example of the example of these tissues. Dense irregular connective tissue has the fibroblasts and many fibers, that is mostly the collagen, that are oriented differently. This tissue is a present in the skin. The cartilage, the cartilage bones and the bloods are various type of the specialized connective tissues. The intercellular material of the cartilage is a solid and the palliable and resist compression. The cell of these tissues that is that is the chondrocytes chondrocytes are enclosed in the small cavity within the matrix secreted by them. Most of the cartilage is the vertebrate embryos are replaced by the bones in the adult. Cartilage is present in the tip of the nose, outer inner, outer ear joints between the adjacent bones of the vertebral column, limbs, and hands in adult. Now bones have the hard and the non-palliable ground substances rich in the calcium, salt, and the collagen fibers, which gives the bone its strength. It is the main tissue that provides the structural frame to the body. Bones support the bone support and protect the softer, softer tissues and the organs. The bone cells, osteoles, limb bones such as the long bones of the legs serve the weight bearing functions. They also interact with the skeletal muscle attached to them to bring about the movement. The bone marrow is a some bones is a site of the production of the blood cells. Blood is a fluid connective tissue containing the plasma, red blood cells are, that is RBCs, white blood cell that is the WBCs and the platelet. It is the main circulating fluid that help in the transport of the various substances and you will learn more about the blood in chapter number 17 and 18. Now the 7.1.3 is a muscle tissues. Each muscle is made up of the many long cylindrical fibers arranged in the parallel arrays. These fibers are composed of the numerous fine fibers, fibrils, called as a microfibrils. Muscle fibers contracts or the shorten in response to the stimulation, then relax, that is the lengthen, and return to their uncon uncontracted state in the coordinated fashion. Their action moves the body to adjust to the changes in the environment and to maintain the position of the various parts of the body. In general, the muscle play an active role in all movement of the body. Muscles are of three types, skeletal, smooth and the cardiac muscle. First is the skeletal muscle or the skeletal muscle tissue is closely attached to the skeletal bones. In typical muscle muscles such as the bicep, striated or the strip skeletal muscle fibers are bundled together in the parallel fashion. A sheath of the tough connective tissue encloses several bundles of the muscle fibers. You will learn more about this chapter. The smooth muscle fibers taper at both ends that is the fusiform and do not show the straight striation. Cell junction hold them together and they are the bundle together in a connective tissue sheet. The wall, connect, wall of the internal organs such as the blood vessels, stomach and the intestine contain this type of the muscle tissues. Smooth muscles and the involuntary as they are the functions cannot be directly controlled. We usually are not able to make it contract merely by thickening about it as we can do with the skeletal muscle. Now the cardiac muscle tissue is the contractile tissues present only in the heart. Cell junction fuse the plasma membrane of the cardiac muscle cells and make them stick together. Communication junction or the intercalated disc at the some fusion at some fusion point allows the cell to contract as a unit that is 
when one cell receives the signal to contract and its neighbors are al are also stimulated to contract now the same point 1.4 is the neural tissues neural tissues neural tissue exert the greatest control over the body response units to changing the conditions neuron the unit of the neuron neural system are exc excitable cells the neurological cells which constitute the rest of the neural system protect and support the neurons the neuroglia make up the more than the one half volume of the neural tissues in our body when a neural when a neuron is suitable suitably stimulated and electrical disturbances in the generate is generated which swiftly travel along its plasma membrane arrival of the disturbances at a neuron ending or output zones triggers the events that may cause the stimulation or inhibition of the adjacent neuron and the other cells now the 7.2 the organ and the organ system the basic tissue mentioned above the organ organize to form the organ which in turn associate to form the organ system in the multicellular organism such an our organization is essential for the more efficient and the better coordination activity of the millions of cell constituting an organism each organ in a in our body is a made up of the one or the more type of the tissues for example our heart constitute all of the four types of the tissues for example epithelial connective muscular and the neural tissues we also notice the was after some careful study that the complexity of the organ and the organ system display the certain discernible trends and this discernible trends is called as a evolutionary trend you will study the detail in the class 12th you are being introduced to morphology and the anatomy of the three organisms at a different evolutionary level to show their organization and the functioning the morphology refers to the study of the forms and the external visible features in the case of the plants and the or microbes the term morphology precisely means only this in case of the animals this refers to as the ex external appearance of the organ or the part of the body the word anatomy conventionally is used for the study of morphology of internal organ in the animals you will learn the morphology and the anatomy of earthworm cockroach and the frog respectively representing the invertebrates and the vertebrates 7.3 earthworm earthworm is a reddish brown terrestrial invertebrate that inhabits the upper layer of the moist soil during daytime they live in a burrowing burrows made by boring and the soiling the soil in the gardens they can be traced by their fecal deposits known as a worm worm casting the common indian earthworm are the peritema and the lumbricus 7.3.1 the morphology earthworm has a, have a long slender body the body is divided into the more than the 100 short segments which are similar metamers about the 100 to 120 in number The dorsal surface of the body is marked by the dark median midrib mid dorsal line that is the dorsal blood vessel and along the longitudinal axis of the body the ventral surface is distinguished by the presence of the genital opening or the pores anterior end consists of the mouth and the post and prostomium a lobe which serve as a covering of the mouth and as a wedge of the fossa open cracks in a soil into which the earthworm may crawl the prostomium is a sensory in the function the first body segment is called as a peristomium that is the buccal segment which contain the mouth in mature worm the segments 14 to 16 are covered by the prominent dark band of the glandular tissues called as a clitellum thus the body is divisible into the three prominent region that is the pre clitoral clitoral and the post clitoral segments the four pair of the spermatica aperture are situated on the ventrolateral sides 
of the intersegmental grooves that is the fifth and the ninth segment a single female genital pore is present in the mid ventral line of the 14th segment a pair of the male genital pore are present on the ventral lateral sides of the 18th segment the numerous minute pores called as a nephridium pore open on the surface of the body in each of the body segment except the first last and the clitellum there are the rows of the s shaped city embedded in the epidermal pits in the middle of the each segment ct can be extended or the retracted their principal role is in the locomotion 7.3.2 the anatomy the body wall of the earthworm is covered externally by the thin and the non cellular cuticle below which is a epidermis two muscle layers that is the circular and the longitudinal and an innermost cilomic epithelium the epidermis is made up of the single layer of the columnar epithelial cells which contains the secretory gland cells the alimentary canal is a straight tube and a run between the first and the last segment of the body the terminal mouth opens into the buccal cavity one to three segments which leads into the muscular pharynx a small narrow tube esophagus that is the five to seven segment continue into the muscular gizzard that is the eight to nine segment it helps in the grinding the soil particles and decaying the leaves etc the stomach extends from the 9 to 14 segment the food of the earthworm is a decaying leaves and organic matter mixed with the soil calcareous glands present in the stomach and uh, neutralize the humic acid present in the humus intestine starts from the 15th segment onward the continue till the last segment a pair of the short and the conical intestinal cecae project from the intestine on the 26th segment the characteristic feature of the intestine after the 26th segment except the last 23rd to 25th segment is the presence of the internal median fold of the dorsal wall called as the triflosoli this increase in the effective area of absorption in the intestine the alimentary canal opens to the exterior by the small rounded aperture called as the anus the ingestion organic rich soil passes through the digestive tract which where digestive enzyme break down complex food into the smaller absorbable units the simple molecules are absorbed through the intestinal membrane and are utilized the ferritima exhibit a close type of the blood vascular system consisting of the blood vessels capillaries and the heart due to close circulatory system blood is a confined to the heart and the blood vessels contraction keep keep the blood uh, circulation into the one direction smaller blood vessels supplies the gut nerve cords and the body wall the blood glands are present on the fourth fifth and the sixth segment the produce they produce the blood cells and hemoglobin which are dissolved in the blood plasma blood cells are the phagocytic in the nature earthworm lacks the specialized breathing devices respiratory exchange occurs through the moist body surface into their blood stream the excretory excretory organ occurs as a segmentary arrangement arrange arrange coil tubules called as a nephridia the singular form known as a nephridia they are of three types one is a septal nephridia present on the both of the uh, both the sides of the intersegmental septa of the segment 15th of the last that open into the intestine second is the integumentary nephridia attached to the lining of the body wall of the segment 3 to the last that open into the body surface and third is the pharyngeal nephridia present as a three pairs tuft in the fourth fifth and the sixth segment these different types of the nephridia are basically similar in the structure nephridia regulate the volume and composition of the body fluid a nephridia starts out as a funnel that collects the excess fluid from the cilomic chamber the funnel connects with the tubular part of the nephridium which deliver the wastage through the pore of the surface in the body wall into the digestive tube 
नर्वस सिस्टम इज बेसिकली रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द गैंग्लिया अरेंज सेगमेंट वाइज ऑन द वेंट्रल पेयर नर्व कॉर्ड्स द नर्व कॉर्ड इन द एंटेरियर रीजन दैट इज द थर्ड एंड द फोर्थ सेक्शन द बाइक फर्केटेड लैटरली एन सर्कलिंग एन सर्कलिंग द फैरिंग्स एंड ज्वाइंट्स द सेरेबुलर गैंग्लिया डॉर्सली टू फॉर्म ए नर्व रिंग्स द सेरेबुलर गैंग्लिया अलॉन्ग विथ अदर नर्व इन द रिंग इंटीग्रेट सेंसरी इनपुट एज वेल एज कमांड द मस्क्युलर रिस्पॉन्सेस ऑफ द बॉडी sensory system does not have the eye but does possess the light and the touch sensitivity organs that is the receptor cells to distinguish the light in uh, intensity and to feel the vibration in the grounds worms have the specialized chemoreceptor that is the taste receptor which reacts the chemical stimuli the sense organs are the located on the anterior parts of the worm earthworm is the hermaphrodite that is the bisexual that is the testes and the ovaries are present in the same individual there are the two types of the testes present in the 10th and the 11th segment their vasa differentia differentia runs up to the 18th segment where they join the prote- uh, prostatic duct the two pair of the accessory glands are present one pair each in the 17th and the 19th segment the common prostate and the spermatic duct that is the vasa differentia opens to the exterior by the pair of the male genital pore on the ventrolateral sides of the 18th segment four pair of the spermatica are the located in the 6th and the 9th segment one pair in each segment they receive and store the spermatozoa during the copulation One pair of the ovaries is attached at the intersegmental septum of the 12th and the 13th segment. Ovarian funnel are present beneath the ovaries which continue into the oviduct join together and open on the ventral side as the single median female genital pore on the 14th segment. A mutual exchange of the sperm occurs between the two worms during the mating. One worm has to find another worm and they met juxtaposing opposite gonadal opening exchanging the pockets of the sperm called as a spermatophores. The mature sperm and the egg cell and the nutritive fluid are deposited in the cocoons produced by the glands gland cells of the clitellum. fertilization and the development occur within the cocoons which are deposited in the soil the ova means the egg are fertilized by the sperm cells within cocoon which then slip off the worms and is deposited in or on the soil the cocoons hold the worm worm embryos after about the 3 week each cocoon produces the 2 or the 20 baby worms with an average of 4 development of the earthworm is a direct that is there are the no larva formation earthworm are known as a friends of farmers because they make the burrows in the soil and make it a porous which helps in the respiration and the penetration of the developing plant roots process of the increase in the fertility of the soil by the earthworms is called as a vermi composting and they are also used as a bait in the game fishing Now the 7.4 is a cockroach. Cockroach are brown or the black bodies animals that are included in the class Insecta and phylum is Arthropoda. Bright yellow, red, green color cockroaches has also been reported in the tropical region. Their size ranges from the 1/4 inches to the 3 inches that is the 0.6 to the 7.6 cm and have the long antenna, legs and the flat extension of the upper body wall that conceal the head they are nocturnal omnivores that lives in the damp places throughout the world and they how becomes the resident of the human homes and thus the serious pest and the vectors of the several diseases now the 7.4.1 is a morphology the adult of the common species of the cockroach is a ferret uh, periplanata americana and are about the 34 to 53 mm long with a wings that extend beyond the tip of the abdomen in the male the body of the cockroach is segmented and divisible into the three distinct region that is the head thorax and abdomen 
the entire body is covered with the hard chitinous exoskeleton which is the brown in color in each segment exoskeleton has a hardened plates called as a sclerites or tergites dorsally and the sternites ventrally that are the joint to each other by a thin and the flexible articular uh, articular membrane that is the arth- arthrodial membrane the head is a triangular in shape and lies anterior to the right angle of the longitudinal body axis it is formed by the fusion of the six segment and shows the great mobility in all directions due to flexible neck the head capsule bears a pair of the compound eyes a pair of the he- pair of the thread like antenna arises from the me- membranous sockets lying in front of the eyes antennae have the sensory receptor that helps in the monitoring the environment the anterior end of the head bears the appendages forming a biting and the chewing type of the mouth parts the mouth part consists of the labrum that is the upper lip the pair of the mandible a pair of the maxillae and the labium that is the lower lip the median flexible lobe acting as a tongue that is the hypopharynx lies within the cavity enclosed by the mouth part the thorax consists of the three parts that is the prothorax mesothorax and the metathorax the head is connected with the thorax by the short extension of the prothorax known as the neck each thorax segment bears a pair of the walking legs the first pair of the wing arises from the mesothorax and the second pair from the metathorax the four wings that is the mesothoracic called as a teg tegmina are the opaque dark and the leathery and covers the hand wing when at the rest the hind wings are the transparent membranous and are used in the flight the abdomen in the both male and the female consists of the 10 segments in the female the seventh sternum is a boat shape and together with the eight and the ninth stern sterna forms a brood or the genital pouch whose anterior part contains the female gonopores or spermatical pores and collateral glands in male in male the genital pouch or the chambers lies at the hind hind end of the abdomen bounded dorsally in the ninth and the 10th teg- terga and ventrally by the ninth sternum in it consists of the dorsal anus ventral male genital pore and the gona gonapophysis the male bears a pair of the short and the thread like the anal style which are absent in the female in both sexes the 10th segment bears a pair of the jointed filamentous structure called as anal cerci now the 7.4.2 is anatomy the elementary canal present in a body cavity is divided into the three regions that is the foregut foregut midgut and the hindgut The mouth opens into the short tubular pharynx leading to the narrow tubular passage called as esophagus. This in turn opens into the sac like structures called as a crop used for the shortening of the food. The crop is followed by the gizzard or the proventriculus. It has a it has an outer layer of the thick circular muscle and the thick inner cuticle forming a six highly chitinous plate called as a teeth. The gizzard help in the grinding the food material food particles the entire foregut is a line by the cuticle the ring of the 6 to 8 blind tubules called as a hepatic and the gastric sacci is a present at the junction of the foregut and the midgut which secrete the digestive juices at the junction of the midgut and the hindgut is a present another ring of the 100 to the 150 yellow color thin filamentous malpighian tubules they help in the removal of the excretory products from the hemolymph the hindgut is the broader than the gut and is a differentiated into the ileum colon and the rectum the rectum opens out through the anus the blood vascular system of the cockroach is an the open type the blood vessels are the poorly developed and opens into the space that is known as a hemocele visceral organ located in the hemocele are the bathed in the blood that is the hemolymph 
the hemolymph is composed of the colorless plasma and the hemocytes the heart of the cockroach consists of the elongated muscular tube lying along the mid dorsal line of the thorax and the abdomen it is differentiated into the funnel shaped chambers with ostia on the either side blood from the sinuses enter the heart through the ostia and pump anteriorly to the sinus again the respiratory system consists of the network of the trachea that opens through the 10 pairs of the small holes called as a spiracles present on the lateral side of the body thin branching tubes that is the tracheal tubes sub- subdivided into the tracheoles carry the oxygen from the air to the parts the opening of the the opening of the spiracle is regulated by the sphincters exchange of the gases take place at the tracheoles by the diffusion excretion is perforated by the malpighian tubules each tubule is a line by the glandular and the ciliated cells they absorb the nitrogenous waste product and convert them into the uric acid which is excreted out through the hindgut therefore the insect is called as a uricotelic in addition the fat body nephrocytes and the uricose glands also helps in the excretion the normal system of the cockroach consists of the series of the fused segmentally arranged ganglia joined by the paired longitudinal connective uh, connectives on the ventral side the three ganglia lies in the thorax and the six in the abdomen the nervous system of the cockroach is spread throughout the body the head holds a bit of the nervous system while the rest is situated along the ventral that is the belly side part of its body so now you understand that if the head of the cockroach is a cut off it will still live as a lo- as long as one week in a head region and a brain is represented by the supraesophageal ganglion which supplies the nerves of the antennae and the compound eyes in cockroach the sense organ are the antennae eyes maxillary palps labial palps anal cerci etc the compound eyes are the situated at the dorsal surface of the head each eye consists of about the 2000 hexagonal omatidi omatidia that is sing, uh, singular form it is known as omatidium with the help of the several omatidia the cockroach can receive the several images of an the object this kind of the vision is known as the mosaic vision with more sensitivity but less resolution being a common during night hence called as a nocturnal vision cockroach are the dioecious and both sexes have the well developed reproductive organs male reproductive system consists of the pair of the testes one lying on the each lateral sides of the fourth and the sixth abdominal ejaculation uh, abdominal segment from each testis arises the thin vasa differentia which opens into the ejaculating duct through the seminal vesicle the ejaculatory duct opens into the male gonad- gonophore situated ventrally to the anus the characteristic mus- characteristic the mushroom shaped glands is present in the 6th and the 7th abdominal segment and function as an the accessory reproductive glands the external genitalia are the represented by the male gonad gonapophysis and the phallomere that is the chitinous or symmetrical structure surrounded surrounding the male gonophore the sperm the store in the seminal vesicle and are glued together in the form of the bundle called as a spermatophore which are discharged during the copulation the female reproductive system consists of the two large ovaries lying laterally in the second and the sixth abdominal segment each ovary is a form of the group of the eight ovarian tubules or ovariole containing a chain of the developing ova oviduct of the each ovary unites into the single median oviduct also called as a vagian and which opens into the genital chamber a pair of the spermatica is a present in the sixth c- section which opens into the genital chamber sperms are the transferred through the spermatophore and their fertilized eggs are encased in a capsule called as a uthika uthika uh, is a dark reddish uh, reddish to the brownish 
blackish brown capsule about the 3/8 that is the 8 minimum long they are drop or glue to the suitable surface usually a cracks or the cervix of the high rela- high relative humidity near the food sources on and the average the female produce the 9 to 10 oothiki each containing the 14 to 16 eggs the development of the periplanata americana is the parometabolous meaning there are the development through the nymphal stage the nymphal looks very much like adult the nymphus grows by the mounting about the 13 times to reach the adult forms the next to the last nymphal stage has wing pads but only adult cockroach have a wing many species of the cockroach are wild and are of the no known economic importance at a few species thrives in and around the human habitat they are the pest because they spoil the food and contaminate it with their the smelly excreta they can be transmit a variety of bacterial diseases by contaminating the food material now the 7.5 is a frog frog can be li- live both on a land and in the fresh water and belonging to the class of the amphibia of the fly- phylum is a chordata the most common species of the frog found in india is a rana tigrina they do not have the con- constant body temperature that is their body temperature varies with the temperature of the environment such an animal are called as a cold blooded or the poikilotherms you may have also noticed the change in the color of the frogs while they are in a grasses and on the dry lands they have the ability to change the color to hide them from their enemies that is the camouflage characteristic they protect this protection this protective coloration is called as a mimicry you may also know that the frogs are not seen during the peak summer and the winter during this period they can they take the shelter in a deep deep burrow to protect them from the extreme heat and the cold this is known as a summer sleep that is the estivation and the winter sleep that is the hibernation respectively now the 7.51 is a morphology have you ever touched the skin of the frog the frog is a smooth and the slippery due to the presence of the mucus the skin is always maintain the moist condition the color of the dorsal side of the body is generally olive green with a dark irregular spots on the ventral side of the skin is uniformly pale yellow the frog never drinks the water but absorb it through the skin the body of the frog is divisible into the head and the trunk a uh, neck and the tail are absent above the mouth the pair of the nostril is present eyes are the bulge and covered by the nictitating membrane that protects them while in the water on either side of the eyes the membranous tympanum that is the air receive the sound signals the fore limb and the hind limb help in the swimming walking leaping and the burrowing the hind limbs end with the end in the five digits and they are the larger and the muscular than the four limbs that end in the four digits the feet have the web digits that help in the swimming the frog exhibit the sexual dimorphism the male frog can be distinguished by the presence of the sound producing vocal sac and also the copulatory pads on the first digit of the four limbs which are absent in the female frog now the 7.5.2 is the anatomy body cavity of the frog accommodate the different organ systems such as the digestive circulatory respiratory nervous excretory and the reproductive system with well developed structures and the functions the digestive system consists of the alimentary canal and the digestive glands the alimentary canal is a short because the frogs are the carnivorous and hence the length of the intestine is reduced the mouth opens into the buccal cavity the cavity that leads to the esophagus through the pharynx esophagus is a short tube that opens into the stomach which in turns continue as the intestine rectum and finally open opens outside by the cloaca liver secretes the bile 
that is a store in the gall bladder pancreas a digestive gland produce a pancreatic juice containing a digestive enzyme food is a capture by the bilobed tongues digestion of the food takes place by the action of the acl and the gastric juices secreted from the wall of the stomach the partially digested food called as a chyma chyme or a chyme is a pass from the stomach to the first part of the small intestine the duodenum the duodenum receives the bile from the gall bladder and pancreatic juice from the pancreas through the common bile duct the bile emuls- emulsified fat and pancreatic juice digests the carbohydrate and the proteins the final digestion takes place in the intestine digested food is absorbed by the numerous fingers like folds in the inner wall of the intestine called as a villi and microvilli the undigested solid waste moves into the rectum and passes out through the cloaca frogs respire, respire on the land and in the water by two different methods in water the skin act as an aquatic respiratory organ that is the cutaneous respiration and dissolution and dissolve oxygen in the water is exchanged through the skin by diffusion on land the buccal cavity the skin and the lungs act as a respiratory organ the respiration by the lungs is called as a pulmonary respiration the lungs are a pair of the elongated pink color sac like structure present in the upper part of the trunk region that is the thorax air enters through the nostril into the buccal cavity and then to the lungs during the aspiration and the hibernation the gaseous exchange take place through the skin the vascular system of the frog is a well developed closed type and frogs have the lymphatic system also the blood vascular system involves the heart blood vessels and the blood the lymphatic system consists of the lymph lymph channels and the lymph nodes the heart is a muscular structure situated in the upper part of the body cavity it has a three chambers two atria and the one ventricle and is covered by the membrane called as a pericardium the triangular structure called as a sinus venous sinus venosus joins a right atrium it receives the blood through the major veins called as a vena cava the ventricle opens into the sac like conus arteriorus on the ventral side of the heart the blood forms the heart is carried to all parts of the body by the arteries or arterial system the vein collects the blood from the different parts of the body to the heart and forms the venous system the special venous connection between the liver and the intestine as well as the kidney and the lower part of the body are the present in the frogs the former of the cord is called as a hepatic portal system the lateral later is called as a renal portal system the blood is a composed of the plasma and the cell the blood cells are the rbcs that is the red blood cells and the erythrocytes wbcs means the white blood cells and or the leukocytes and the platelet rbcs are the nucleated and contains the red color pigments proteins and the rbcs the blood carries the nutrient gases and the water to respective sites during the circulation the circulation of the blood is achieved by the pumping action of the muscle muscular heart the elimination of the nitrogenous waste is carried out by the well developed excretory system the excretory system consists of the pair of the kidney uterus cloaca and the urinary bladder these are the compact dark red and the bean like structures situated in the little posteriorly in the body cavity on both sides of the ventral column Each kidney is a composed of the several structural and the functional units called as a uriniferous tubule or the nephrons. Two uterus emerge from the kidney in the male frog. The uterus act as a urinogenital duct which opens into the cloaca. In female, the uterus and the oviduct open separately in the cloaca. The thin wall urinary bladder are present ventral to the rectum which also opens in the cloaca. The frog excrete the urea and thus in the is the uricotelic animals. Excretory waste are the carried by the blood 
into the kidney where it is the separated and the excreted the system of the control and the coordination is a highly evolved in the frog it includes the both neural system and the endocrine system the chemical coordination of the various organ of the body is achieved by the hormones which are secreted by the endocrine glands the prominent endocrine glands found in the frog are the pituitary thyroids parathyroids thymus pineal bodies and pancreatic islet adrenals and gonads the nervous system is organized into the central nervous system that is the brain and the spinal cord peripheral nervous system that is the cranial and the spinal nerve and the automatic nervous system that is the sympathetic and the parasympathetic sympathetic there are the 10 pairs of the cranial nerves arising from the brain the brain is enclosed in the bony structure called as a brain box that is the cranium the brain is divided into the forebrain midbrain and hindbrain forebrain include the olfactory lobes paired cere- cerebellar hemisphere and the unpaired diencephalon the mid- midbrain is characterized by the pair pair of the optic lobes the hindbrain consists of the cerebellum and the medulla oblongata the medulla oblongata passes out through the for- foramen magnum and continue into the spinal cord which is enclosed in the ver- vertebral column frog has a different types of the sense organ namely the organ of the touch that is the sensory pallea the taste for the taste bud smell from the nasal epithelium vision from the eyes hearing from the tympanum with the internal ears out of these the eyes and the internal ears the well organized structure and the rest are the cellular organization uh, aggregation around the nerve ending eyes in the frogs are the pair of the spherical structure situated in the orbit in the skull this is the simple eye that is the possessing only one unit external air is uh, absent in the frog and only tympanum can be seen externally the air is an organ of the hearing as well as the balancing that is the equilibrium the frog have the well organized male and the female reproductive system male reproduction male reproductive organ consists of the pair of the yellowish ovoid testes and which are found adhere to the upper part of the kidney by double fold of the peritoneum called as a mesorchium the vasa differentia are the 10 to 12 in the number that arises from the testes they enter the kidney on the side on their side and opens into the bidder's canal finally it com- communicates with the urinogenital duct that comes out of the kidney and opens into the cloaca cloaca is a small median chamber that is used to pass the fecal matter urine urine and the sperm to the exterior the female reproductive organ include the pair of the ovaries the ovaries are situated nearly kidney near to the kidney and there is a no functional connection with the kidney a pair of the ovary duct arises from the ovaries opens into the cloaca separately the mature female can lay the 20, uh, 2500 to the 3000 ova at a time fertilization is external and take place in the water development involves the larva stage called as a tadpole tadpole undergoes the metamorphosis to form the adult the frog are the beneficial for the mankind mankind because they eat the insect and protect the crops the frogs maintain the ecological balance because they serve as an the important link of the food chain and the food web in the ecosystem in some countries the muscular legs of the le- uh, frogs are used as a food by the man now the summary of the chapter of the structural organization in animal the cells tissues organ and the organ system splits up the work in the way that ensure the survival of the body as a whole and the exhibit the division of the labor the tissue is a defined as a group of the cell along the intracellular intercellular substances performing the one or the more function in a body epithelia are the sheath like the tissues lining the body surface and its cavity duct and the tubes the epithelia have the one free surface facing the body fluid or the outside the environment their cells are structurally and functionally connected at the junction diverse type of the connective tissues bind together support strengthen and protects the insulated uh, other tissues in the body the soft connective tissue consists of the protein fibers as well as the variety of the cell arranged in the ground substances cartilage bones uh, blood 
एडिपोज टिश्यू एंड स्पेशलाइज कनेक्टिव टिश्यू कार्टिलेज एंड द बोन्स आर द बोथ स्ट्रक्चर और मटेरियल ब्लड इज अ फ्लूड टिश्यू विद अ ट्रांसपोर्ट फंक्शन एडिपोज टिश्यू इज अ रिवर्स रिजर्वायर ऑफ द स्टोर एनर्जी द मसल टिश्यू विच आर विच आर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट और शॉर्टन द रिस्पॉन्स इन द स्टिम्युलेशन हेल्प इन मूवमेंट ऑफ द बॉडी एंड स्पेसिफिक बॉडी पार्ट स्केलेटल मसल इज अ मसल टिश्यू अटैच टू द बोन्स स्मूथ मसल इज अ कॉम्पोनेंट ऑफ द इंटरनल ऑर्गन कार्डियक मसल मेक अप द कॉन्ट्रेक्टाइल वॉल्स ऑफ द हर्ट कनेक्टिव टिश्यू covers all the three types of the tissue the nervous tissue exert a greatest control over a response of the body neurons are the basic unit of the nervous tissue the earthworm cockroach and the frogs shows the characteristic feature of the body organization in ferritima posthuma that is the earthworm the body covers with the cuticle all segments of its body are alike except the 14th 15th and the 16th segment which are the thick and the dark and the glandular forming a clitellum a ring of the s shaped chitinous sheath is found in each segment the sheath helps in the locomotion on the ventral side of the spermatical opening are present in between the grooves of the fifth uh, five and the six six and the seven six seven and the eight and eight and the nine segment female genital pore are present on the 14th and the male genital pore pore on the 18th segment the elementary canal is a narrow tube made made of mouth buccal cavity pharynx gizzard stomach intestine and anus the blood vascular system is of the closed type with heart and the walls the nervous system is represented by the ventral nerves nerve cord earthworm is a hermaphrodite two pairs of the testes occur in the 10th and the 11th segment respectively a pair of the various ovaries are present on the 12th and the 13th in intersegmental septum it is potentous animal with cross fertilization fertilization and the development take place in the cocoon secreted by the gland glands of the clitellum the body of the cockroach that is the ferritima americana is covered by the chitinous exoskeleton it is divided into the head thorax and abdomen segment bears a jointed appendages there are the three segments of the thorax each bearing a pair of the walking legs two pair of the wings are present one pair each on the second and the third segment there are the 10 segment in the abdomen elementary canal is a well developed with with a mouth surrounded by the mouth part and a pharynx or esophagus crop gizzard midgut hindgut and anus hepatic cecae are present at the junction of the foregut and midgut the malpighian tube are present at the junction of the midgut and the hindgut and help in the excretion a pair of the salivary gland is present near the crop the blood vascular system is of the open type respiration takes place at by the network of the trachea trachea opens out with the spiracles nervous system is represented by the segmentally arranged ganglia and ventral nervous cords a pair of the testes is present in the fourth and the sixth segment and the ovaries in the second and the sixth segment fertilization is internal female produce the 9 and the 10 utiki bearing developing embryos after rupturing of the single utiki 16 young ones called as a nymph come out the indian bullfrog that is the rana tigrina is a common frog found in the india body is covered by the skin mucus gland are present in the skin which is a highly vascularized and the help in the respiration in the water and on the land body is divisible into the head and the trunk the muscular tongue is present which is a bilobed at the tip and is used for the capturing the prey the alimentary canal consists of the esophagus stomach and intestine and rectum which open into the cloaca the main digestive gland are liver and the pancreas it respire in the water through the skin and through the lungs on the land circulatory system is a close with the single circulation rbcs are the nucleated nervous system is uh, organized into the central peripheral and the autonomic the organs of the urinogenital system and the kidney and the urinogenital duct which open into the cloaca the male reproductive organ is a pair of the testes the female reproductive organ is a pair of ovaries and the female lays the 200 and 2500 to the 3000 ova at a time 
the fertilization and the development are the external the eggs hatch into the tadpole which metamorphose into the frogs thank you so much